So, when are we redoing this video for you? Because we've already done problems one and two. So, today in lesson 20, we are looking at pyramids. And what makes a pyramid different than prisms is number one, pyramids only have one base. Uh, and while prisms had two bases, and pyramids have lateral faces that are triangles, as you can see right here, these triangles coming up, where prisms have rectangles. So we're doing the exact same thing, finding the surface area of these pyramids. The way we name pyramids is exactly the same way we name prisms. Uh, when we name a prism, see if I can get to it real quick. Go back to prisms. All right, so when are, this one right here is a triangular prism because it has a triangle for the base, two triangle bases, and then it has rectangles for lateral faces, so that is a triangular prism. Right here we have a square prism because the bases are squares. Here's a rectangular prism because the base is a rectangle. This particular pyramid has a square for a base, so this is a right square pyramid, which is the same thing that we have in problem one. So we have a right square pyramid because they have a square here, and now we're going to go ahead and find the area of that. So to find, well first they want us to draw a net. So if we draw a net, we're going to start with the base. And then we go ahead and draw our lateral faces. So the lateral faces, just like prisms, depend on how many sides your base has. And then we can go ahead and label this thing. And then to find the surface area, we're going to find the area of the base. Who was that? Where she went? Oh, okay. So to find the area of the base is going to be length time width because this thing's a square, so that's going to be 12 times 12, which is 144. We do not multiply this one times two because there's only one base. And then we need to find the area of our lateral faces. All these triangles are the exact same size winner, so we're going to go ahead and multiply it times 4, because we've got 4 of them. That's going to be base time height divided by 2. So it's going to be 4 times the base is 12. The height is 14.75. And we're going to divide by 2. So that's going to be 4 times 88.5. So each each of those lateral faces is 88.5. We multiply it times 4 because we've got 4 of them. And that gives us 354. And then to get our surface area, we just add those two numbers together. 144 plus 354. And we get an answer of 498 inches squared. Okay, so that's number one, winner. Number two is the exact same shape, except it doesn't ask us to draw a net. And the only other difference is that we have this little height that is in the middle of the base. This is the height of the pyramid. This is not the height of the triangles that make up the lateral faces. These heights are called slant heights because they're on the slanted part of the pyramid. And the slant height is always greater than the actual pyramid height. So you can go ahead and find this area. It's going to be the area of the base is 8 times 8, which is 64. And then you find the area of each of these triangles. So it's going to be the base times the height. So 8 times 5 is 40 divided by 2. 
Each of these triangles uh, has an area of 20, so then you got four of them, so that's going to be 80. So 80 plus 64 is going to give you an, a surface area of 144. And now everybody's working on number three, uh, number three through six. So you can work on number three through six, and then we go come back and work on those together. All right, so going over number problems three, all the way through through problem six. So problem three, you can see right here, what type of pyramid do we have here? A triangular pyramid because our base is a triangle. And I think it helps with sometimes if we go ahead and just kind of highlight or shade in exactly where our base is. So this is the base that we're talking about. It also helps some people to see what the, what the net look like. So if you start with your base, here is our base. And if you look at that base that I got highlighted, the base of the base, the base of the base of the base, the base is eight. And that is sitting right here. And then you got that dotted line, that dotted line that comes out right here, that is 6.9. So this height is 6.9. And then if we go ahead and do the rest of the net, here's a lateral face, here's a lateral face, and another lateral face. And if you look at all those lateral faces, they're all the same thing. Every side of this triangle, the bases are eight. So I'm talking about the base triangle. The base, all its sides are equal to eight. And then all the heights are 6.9. Every last one is 6.9. They throw the 6.5 in here, but that 6.5, that is the height of the pyramid to try and confuse you. But we want slant height. So. To find this area, we're going to go ahead and find the area of the base. So that's going to be base time height divided by 2. That's going to be 8 times 6.9 divided by 2. So it's going to be 27.6. I'm still going to do my own math on my calculator because I don't trust y'all like that. And then we're going to have the area of the lateral faces. And there's too much talking going on. Y'all about to go back in y'all spots. So the lateral faces, we have three lateral faces. And they're all triangles. And they're all the same exact triangle, which is the most important thing. So... So this is going to be three triangles, and each of those three lateral faces has the same area of 27.6. Didn't I just say I would do the math myself? Sir, So it's 82.8, so here's our base, here's our lateral faces. When we add those two together, let's see what You get 11.0.4. No, that's called 110.4. And it's 110.4. It's okay. 11.0.4. Okay, I just got the answer right though. Go ahead. If I only had. All right, so we had one question just a second ago about number three, and the only question was how do we get a different base? They had looked at the base and said that the height, the base for the triangle was eight and the height was eight. So just confusing these lines up because there's plenty of them. And this one is a lot of hot mess inside that triangle. So in this particular one, because they have all these different little dotted lines and whatnot, a net really does help out our shading what triangle you're looking at helps out. But don't forget, once you, once you shade it in and you get all the numbers, erase all your shading part, that way you don't be confused in your next piece. Any other questions on number three? Okay, so if there's no other questions, we'll go ahead and move on to number four. Or 11, 11 0. Okay, 
What type of? Say the answer first. Huh? Say the answer first. Say the answer first for number four. What if I ask you what is the what is the shape first? Okay, good job reading the description. I thought you were just going to tell me on your own. You know what? It's a game. Um, Come on, man. I'm having difficulty communicating. Oh, there we go. So, Bree said she wants to answer first. Shh, people, cut it out. The answer is... Five hundred and sixty-four. Yep. Yep. Yeah. So, she asked me for the whole answer. The answer, the in, the answer at the end is five hundred and sixty-four. That's the sur that's the surface area. If you didn't get five hundred and sixty-four, make sure you pay attention and stop talking. So the first thing we need to do is find the area of our base. Our base is a rectangle, so that's going to be length times width. Looking at this rectangle, we've got 18 right here and 10 right here. That is our length and width. So 18 times 10 is 180. That's one piece we're going to need. Now we have to find out the area of the lateral faces. But when you look at these lateral faces, because this is a rectangle, obviously not every one of these triangles is the same. We have this triangle right here that has a, let me do my base time height divided by two. It's got a base of 18 and the height of this triangle is right here. This dotted line, which is not 15, there's 15 nowhere close to that. There's obviously an arrow pointing to it, and that is 13. But it's wrong. So, if this one is 18, because this is a rectangle, that also means that it has an identical one right back here. This triangle back here is also 18 by 13. So that means we have two triangles like this, okay? Then, if you look at the other side of the rectangle, that's not the same size as 18, we've got this triangle right here on the right-hand side that has a base of 10 and a height of 15. And not only do we have that one, but you also have the one on the left-hand side right here that you can barely see. Those are the exact same measurements. So we got two triangles with that area. Okay? Because it's a rectangle, you got different bases for your lateral faces. So you gotta, you gotta really look at it and see. So the ones that we have on the front and the back, that's gonna be 18 times 13 divided by two. So it's going to be two times one of those triangles. I keep talking over people for some reason. One of those in the front and the back is going to be 117. Both of them, when we multiply it times two, is 234. And then the one on the right-hand side and the left-hand side, we've got 10 times 15 divided by two. So each one of those is 75. And we got two of them like that, so when we multiply that times two, we get 150. So to find our total surface area, we're gonna take we're gonna take the area of the base, the area of two of the lateral faces, plus the area of the other two lateral faces, add them all together. What? I mean meter squared. And you get 564 meters squared. Any questions on that? No questions? Okay. Not right now. Sounds good.
All right, so now we have a pentagonal pyramid. So all the sides are triangles, that makes it a pyramid. The bottom is a pentagon, that makes it a pentagonal pyramid. And it's called a regular hexagonal pyramid because it's a regular hexagon, which means every side of this hexagon is equal to the same exact thing. So that would probably be the best thing to start off with, is being able to draw this hexagon and going ahead and seeing how we're going to find the area of this hexagon. Now, of course, mine's not a regular one because I can't really draw it like that. But if we're just looking at the base, I can look at the base right here and I can see that this is 4.6. So that means every last one of these sides is equal to 4.6. There's also a dot in the middle of this hexagon with a dotted line going down to the, to the side. And it's got a four right here. So to find the area of this base, we don't have a formula for hexagons, but we can do like this and find that we have a triangle here. So to find the area of my base, I have to do the formula for a triangle, base time height divided by 2. So that's going to be 4.6 times 4 divided by 2. But that's only going to give me this piece right here. How many more pieces like that do I have? Six. I got six totals. So here's another one. Here's a third one, fourth one, a fifth one, and our sixth one right there. So we need to do that one triangle and multiply it times 6. So to find the area of my base, I'm going to do 4.6 times 4 divided by 2. And that gives me 9.2. That's just that one triangle that I shaded in. And then we multiply it times 6. The area of the entire base is 55.2. Now... I am moving on to my lateral faces now. So the area of my lateral faces. And I want to look to see if all these triangles are the same. So I see this line right here. That's how tall the pyramid is. Does that have anything to do with my, my lateral faces? No. No. So that is just to confuse me. Get rid of that number. Are all of my bases of all of my triangles, are they, are they the same number? Yeah, so they're all 4.6, okay? So it's made up of triangles. So that's gonna be 4.6. Now I gotta figure out what the height is. So I gotta look at my slant height. My slant height is sitting right here, and that is 7.2. Are they all 7.2? No. They're not? Yes, they are. What other, what other numbers they give me besides the numbers that I've used already? Four, I've used four already. Four with four is right here. Four point six. I used four point six. Here's four. Here's four point six. And I've already used seven point two there. So seven point two is all the way around. That's the slant height for all of these is seven point two. So that means I've got one, let me do this. One, two, three, four, five, six different triangles I gotta find now. So this is gonna be times six. So, one lateral face, 4.6 times 7.2 divided by 2 is going to give me 16.56. 16.56 is just one triangle, if that's just one lateral face. So, this one right here, that one triangle is equal to 16.56. But if you go all the way around, I've got six of them like that. So I'm going to do 16.56 times 6, and that's going to give me my lateral face all the way around the pyramid. And to do my surface area, I'm doing 55.2 plus 99.36, and I get 154.56 meters squared. Or, or as Kenzie would call that number, 15, 15, 4.56. How do you know you're squared? What do you mean Because it's area. So 
So 154.56. Questions on number five? No, sir. No. How many people did number six besides Bree? Me and my nation did. Okay. <laughs> Good. And our last problem for this lesson, number six, they give us an actual picture. If it comes up sometime today. Bro, look how slow that is. All right, so this problem right here says a park staff is building a structure like the one pictured to cover a square deck. The roof of the structure will be metal and in the shape of a right square pyramid. How much metal do they need to cover the roof? All right, so they're making a right square pyramid. So I'm going to go ahead and draw me a net of a right square pyramid. Alright, so if I go ahead and put my measurements down, each of these sides is going to be a 12, and my height, according to the picture, right here I have my height is 7.5, and because it's a square, all of these are going to be 7.5. And they want me to find out how much metal is going to be on this roof. Where do you think they're going to put the metal at? They're going to put it on top of me. On the top, right? Yeah. So on this triangle, on this triangle, and on these two triangles, right? Mm -hmm. You think they're covering the bottom, the square? Do you think the square parts could be in metal? No. No. So on this particular problem, because of how they give us the problem and how they lay it out, it's only the roof that's going to be metal not the underneath. So we do not have to find the area of the base. It's not necessary for us to find this right here. The only thing we need to find is the area of each of these triangles. So here is going to be metal. Everything in blue is going to be metal. The red part is just going to be open up underneath the cover. So all I need to do in this one is to find my surface area. All I got to find is the area of my lateral faces. Sir, everybody tired. You said everybody got it? No, I said everybody got tired. Well, I'll tell you how yes. I can tell you how to do it. So we, I got it. we've got four pieces, yep. base time height divided by two. Which is 12. For the and it's going to be 12 for the base. And then 7.5. Seven and a half for the height, divide, divide that by two. And you get 45. 45 what? Feet squared. 45 feet squared. No, four times. <laughs> so that's going to be 45, 45 per face, right? Yeah. Is that what y'all meant to say? And we've got four faces, so multiply that times four, and you get 180 square feet of metal. 180 square feet of metal. That's it. Because we don't, we don't mess with the base because the, the bottom part's not covered in metal. The bottom is just open. Any questions? Okay, well, let's go ahead now with our 10 minutes that we got left. Look at page 389. 389 is the exit ticket. I want you to come up with an answer for, for the exit ticket. And let me, yeah, let me check it out. Make sure that y'all understand it. Yeah, when they say don't forget to do your exit ticket, and you can also work on the practice. If you got any questions about what the answers are, let me know. But she watching this right now?